the actual two, 2,500 years ago, Persian soldiers and the footage is from the Iranian Iranian kings Shahan Shah Arya Mir Pahavli wait pa lavi pa lavi pa lavi excuse me Shahan Shah Arya Mir Meri Mehir Pa Halavi or simply the Shah. Okay, so we're just gonna say the Shah. Okay. Um celebrations at the at Persepolis, which he called the world leaders to come and watch a brief history of the armies of Persia through the ages, starting from the Achaemenid, the Achaemeni, which are the Haka Maneshi. Haka Maneshi. Neshi, is it Neshi? Or Haka Manishi people. Okay. So the Akamini and uh the Haka. Time of Cyrus during the time of Cyrus the Great. The Shah was very patriotic in his role of a leader such as Cyrus the Great, I guess that's what they're trying to say. Um it was because of his stream nationalism and not bending over to globalists that he was removed actually. Here's more. Okay, so this person sent me the link to this actual video. You probably wonder what video this is. Actually, this is my video to uh, tribute to Iran and ancient Persia. There's a few clips in the beginning of the video where I didn't think I would be able to see anything, any rulers from ancient Persia, okay? Which is Persepolis, or at this time became Persepolis. Okay, by the Shah. Okay, now I do know about the Shah. Um, Mr. Uh, the king that was his name, uh, Shahan Shah, uh, Aramir or Ara uh, Mir. Yeah, I said it right, Mir. I think that's how you pronounce that last uh, part of Arya Mir, Arya Mir, like Muhir, like that. I believe that's how you pronounce that. But anyway, let's get into this reaction video. This is the actual video we're going to be reacting to. Okay, so there were clips. And I was astonished and appalled because you could see and tell by the... I was shocked that they had a video of it, first of all. That's the one thing. Because I, I wasn't sure. You could tell it's not fake. Okay, you see these people in these outfits right here in this thumbnail. Okay, you see them with their shields and their uh, weapons and stuff like this. And look how ancient this is. And it's, it looks hot out there. It's super sunny out there. Look at this. Look at this, y'all. Look at those pillars. Is those pillars still standing? To the, uh, to the day? Oh, that's the horns. shells i think y'all see that shield that's in front of the uh the unit i think they are attacked i think it's one big shield and it takes three soldiers to use the shield yo that is dope bro i never seen that and they had persians in video games now i never played prince of persia games i probably had to play that i'm not sure if they had those type of shields in that but any game that actually had persians in the game i never seen that type of shield interesting I thought it was separate, but they don't look separate unless they so close together. But nah, bro, like that design, you don't you don't see no real line line going through. Wow.
So they definitely kept, uh, they wore certain colors to identify certain units. This is a uh, damn. I forget the name of that, but they actually use. I know I've, I've seen this in a video game before. Those uh, uh damn. What is the name of the damn thing? Oh my god! I gotta get back into playing war games. Uh, and I, I actually played these type of war games where you had to take over castles and stuff like that. I forget the name of that contraption right there, but basically. It's to get over like castle walls and to breach castle walls and to have a certain advantage because if you got soldiers already on the ground, just like how you see the, their own soldiers on the ground, you see how low they is. So imagine them with spears or anything, arrows, whatever, whatever choice of weapon. Yo, I didn't think this was, I didn't like some of the contraptions. I would never knew if they actually exist. You know what I'm saying? Because you know how uh, creators, when it comes to video games, you, you don't know if they were actually real. Um, like the catapults, they were real. The catapults were real. You know what I'm saying? And this is not a catapult. This is uh, some type of defense mechanism right here. Okay. But I forget the actual name of this damn thing. I'm sorry. I. Right. Look at that. We got wooden wheels. Wheels are made out of wood. And it's I love it. I'm staring at front, but it's not a dumpster. Oh my god, look at the ancient per Persian ships. The Persian soldiers. Holy shit. Oh wow. Oh wow. You can see, you can see, I'm not sure if that's a. Uh, let's just put it this way. The West. You see the West is out there. Now, you you see how the West dress? They still dress like that to this day. And this was back in what year? 1971. On, oh, October. October the 16th of 1971. Hmm. Damn. It seemed like it's older than that, but okay. That's because... All wood. They look like our uh, dressers in our houses. Whoa. The kitchen table. Your wooden bar stools. The wooden floors. You know what I'm saying? Yo, they, they was polishing wood like this before. Damn, that is fire. Look at their uh, shields. I'm sorry, but I am astonished. They got a whole goddamn fortress on the damn ship. Y'all see that? They have a building that I guess they, yo, that is crazy. They got a whole goddamn, I don't, I don't even know if, it, if it's a castle or not. Oh, no, that's behind. Oh, my bad. I thought that was part of the ship. <laughs> my bad. I 
I seen that eagle, that that symbol before. What's the name of that symbol? I can't really make it out, but I believe that's an eagle with wings. But it's an older version of it. Hmm. Flags back then. Look at they flag. They're like those famous Persian carpets. Somebody was, uh, I think what they were trying to tell me, uh, oh, that the, the Shah had got overthrown because of his nationalistic ideals and uh, ways um, over globalists. I mean, you know, they, so this was at a time where uh, I guess they was trying to figure out the world, like trying to get things in order as far as world power and stuff like that and to see what their power was like because i'm like maybe that was the type of infiltration if he got overthrown i mean being nationalistic oh so globalist is like unity and the persians didn't want to be a part of the unity i don't see how they wouldn't if they let first of all they not let but invited all nations you know what i'm saying to their event, you know what I'm saying, to display what these people were, show them the history, et cetera, et cetera, you know what I'm saying, and um, maybe that's the advantage and disadvantage of the Shah, of whatever happened at that time happened, because you pretty much, you don't want to tell people everything you got, you don't want to brag about everything you got, Um, sometimes those tools will become of your use if you need to due to a certain situation, but you know what I'm saying? I'm not sure if they did it to show power, like show like, okay, Cyrus, now, now this is what I want to say. Cyrus the Great heard that he fell and his empire fell because kind of like uh, when the Yugoslavia, the, the Yugoslavia uh, region was formed. Okay. And the reason why I say that is because all the Balkan countries, Serbia, Croatia, and Albania, they all unified. So Cyrus the Great had unified all nations from, I believe, Rome to uh, all the Middle East, Central Asia, you know what I'm saying? He basically almost unified the whole world, you know what I'm saying? And that's why my name is Munchie the Great, you know what I'm saying? Because I actually love and been studying his history, which I really got to get more into his history. Um, if anybody that I can say that it's an inspiration or someone that I look up to from that era and from y'all region is Cyrus the Great. No other man, not even no disrespect to Muhammad. You know what I'm saying? He was not a universal. You know what I'm saying? I know that's a religion figure, um, but when I mean he wasn't a universal figure, he was not a universal figure. He did not uh, want peace for all people, okay? And, um... The only thing is Persians did have slaves. So it wasn't like Persians was like, you know, all coochie crunch. And another thing is, don't take the two terms Persian and Iranian and try to say that Iranian never had slaves. Okay. Persians were Iranians. Now, per Iranians are Ardian and it depends on where you came from. You know what I'm saying? Like the Elamite people. You know what I'm saying? I digress. I ain't going to give y'all too much tea. You know what I'm saying? But you... I just want y'all to know that I, I be knowing, you know what I'm saying? And shout out to uh, all my beautiful Persians and Iranian brothers and sisters, you know what I'm saying? From wherever you're watching. Rose Baj, Ariana Stana. Mm -hmm.